So I just saw a news story where Goldman is now recommending a moving out of equities and holding more money in cash. It has become bearish on stocks. Now this is very interesting for a number of reasons. Uh, first of all, before I give you their reasons or Goldman's reasons why they are recommending uh, a cautious stance on equities, I will first remind you that Goldman was very negative on commodities and oil at the beginning of the year. And I called the oil bottom uh, around mid-January. And Goldman just last week reversed its position. Maybe it was uh, actually this week reversed its stance on oil and now thinks it is going higher. So basically they waited from, you know, $30 a barrel to almost 50 to decide now that it's going to go higher. Anyway, uh, with regards to the reasons for Goldman's cautious stance on equities, it lists um, stock market valuations. I'll get into that in a second. Uh, political uncertainty, I guess they're talking about the election, and um, slow economic growth. Okay, so the, those are kind of like really general, I mean, not really making, uh, pointing to anything specific. Those are general concerns, all right? So, uh, number one, for the valuation concerns, we hear this a lot, okay, and a lot of uh, analysts look at the metric, the price-earnings ratio of the S&P 500. Remember, the price-earnings ratio has two variables in there, okay, the price, all right, divided by the earnings. Now, if the price of the S&P 500 goes up and the earnings stay flat, the valuation gets stretched and it reaches levels where historically analysts would say, well, you know, in the past we've had corrections based on that level. However, if the price goes up but the earnings start to rise, that ratio could actually come down. Okay, and this is what I'm saying, that the flows, the government spending this year has been very strong. Uh, we saw a glitch in that early in February, but it has since reversed itself, and in fact, it's accelerating. And my um, my assumption is that that increased spending, what happens to it? It flows to income in the non-government, in the private sector, and you're going to start to see earnings improve. None of these guys are looking at that. That's, again, I cannot repeat this often enough. I'm the only person out there who looks at this, okay? Even Goldman doesn't look at this. The earnings are going to improve. I'm looking at those flows, and those flows correlate extremely closely to corporate earnings, right? Number one. Number two, political risk. You know, there's always political risk. Um, and as far as I can see, if Trump is elected and first of all, that doesn't even come until, what, the end of next January when the new president is sworn in. So, I mean, it's really not even worth thinking about it at this time. But if I'm thinking about Trump, I'm thinking about a guy who's going to spend a lot because he's all about, he's going to build, 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 all right? And if Hillary's elected, I don't think the policies would be any different than what we're seeing now with Obama. So it's at the very worst, it's status quo. And at the best, it could be a significant increase uh, in fiscal stimulus. All right. And finally, slow growth, Goldman says. Another very general. So they're looking at current or past um, conditions. That's not how you make a forecast, okay? A forecast is looking forward. And again, if they're saying that growth is going to be slow, well, then again, they're really not focused on the spending and the flows, which I am. Now, I may end up to be wrong. So far, I haven't been wrong. I've out-forecasted Goldman already on the commodities on the on the gold they remember they were very bearish on gold too they said the gold rally was going to reverse itself it never did okay now they're getting bullish on oil at 50 dollars when i was bullish at 30 29 
so interesting and I find it to be uh, an incredibly bullish development. You love to have stories like this uh, because it throws people off. You see what they're focusing on, all right? And it's the wrong stuff. Very general, just really not pointing to anything specific. Let's see how it works out. See you later. Bye-bye.